Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you the solution to the 2021 ANC 10A number 14, but also the 12A number 12. So basically we have this polynomial of which all of the roots are positive integers. Very important. Be careful of these positive, negative, non-negative words. And they're properly repeated, so I'm not saying they have to be the same. What's the value B? Okay, so the key thing for this problem is that when you have a polynomial, you got some coefficients, you, you know properties about the roots, that's a big hint to use Vn us. So let's just say that roots are R1 through R6. So we have that the sum of the roots R1, I'm not going to write them all up, R1 to R6 is equal to, remember, negative, positive, we discussed in the polynomials class, if you remember, the polynomials in the 10 12 class, sum of the roots is going to be negative of negative 10, which is 10. Right? By Vn us formula. But we also know by Vieta's formula that the product of the roots R1 and R2 times R6 is 16. So we have to use these conditions along with the fact that the roots are positive integers somehow. How can we do this? Well, positive integers, the, this is just a little bit of guess and check here, actually. There's no other way around it, but it's really not that bad. Because we need to have four factors of two in our four numbers. So we can notice that if any of the factors are 4, it doesn't work. Because let's say R1 is 4, for example. If R1 is 4, for example, then we're going to have to have something like 4, 4, 1, 1, 1, 1, or 4, 2, 2, 1, 1, 1, and these cases don't work. And we can see that also having just 1, 16, and 5 numbers has a sum that's even bigger. And similarly, having H2, 1, 1, 1, 1 is also don't, doesn't work because the sum is not equal to 10. And we must have the sum of the six roots to be 10. And in none of these cases, the sum is not 10. So from here, we see that if there's a four or higher number, it doesn't work. So then we cannot have any fours or eights or anything higher than four. So we must have only twos and ones. So then, then we see the number has to be two, 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 one, one, which has a sum of 10. So that does work. So therefore, we see that these have to be the roots. And we can actually check that no other possibility will work because we just listed them all out. So we know that the six roots have to be four twos and two ones. Now, what do we have to find? We have to find B. What is B? B is the sum of all products of three roots. So B is equal to like R1, R2, R3, plus R1, R2, R4, etc. So how do we find what this is? Well, one way is to literally list out all 20 products, and I do not want to do that because that's going to take two kinds of doing. In this case, a smart way, it's actually a combinatorical way, is that just through casework, exactly, casework for an algebra Vieta's problem. And the reason we actually have to do casework here is because rather than just summing up all of them manually, a lot of the cases are the same. A lot of the products of the roots are the same because we have four identical and two identical numbers. So really, instead of summing 20 products, we really just need to sum three. So what are the different cases? Well, we can, mul we, we can multiply three twos together. So... The first case is that we multiply three twos together. So how many ways are there to multiply three twos together? Well, there's four twos, three ways to select three twos to multiply together. And then that means we have to have one zero, sorry, zero ones together. So times two, two, zero. Two twos with zero ways, like zero ones out of the two ones. And then from there, this is just equal to eight, sorry, four. And then at the end, we multiply this by by three, by eight, because three twos will have a product of two times two times two, which is eight. So this gives us a case of 32. Okay, the next case is we can have two twos multiplied together and one one we're multiplied together. So if we have two twos and one one that we have to multiply together, we can see that, we can see that there's gonna be four twos two ways to select the two twos out of the four twos, and then times, Two choose one way to select one one out of the two twos, which is going to be equal to six times two equals twelve, and then you multiply it by four since two times two times one is four. So these products each have a value of four. This gives us a total subcase value of forty eight. The final case. The final case is that. The final case is that we can have. One two. And two ones. Yeah, you can have one twos and two ones. How many ways are there to be to do this? You can choose one of the twos and you can choose both of the ones. 
So we got four choices for four choose one choices for the two, two choose two choices for the one, and that's just going to be equal to four times one equals four. And then we, again, we multiply it by two because that's going to be the product in these cases, which gives us eight. We add up thirty-two plus forty-eight plus eight to get an answer of eighty-eight. Probably should not box them all, but the sum is eighty-eight. But that's not our answer. Remember, negative, positive, negative, negative. So the B coefficient is actually going to be negative of that. So negative 88. And in this case, they're lucky. They didn't want to trick you. So they didn't put 88 as an option choice. Because if they did, I'm sure many people would have actually selected that. So again, be careful about your signs. And VLS is a very important thing. And the key idea in this problem was VLS, look at the roots, see positive integers. I mean, why would they be giving that unless it was just a simple guess and check? So we see that, okay, we have these VLS, do a simple guess and check, find the values. And then there, from there, Rather than summing manually 20 products, we just look at the different sub -po possible sum products of three twos, two twos and one one, one two and two ones. And actually, another way that people did it, there's not the way that I did it, it's a little bit more time consuming, is that if you didn't see a way to do this by VIDAS, you could actually just expand x minus two to the fourth times x minus one squared, and then look at what the coefficient is. But this is way more time consuming. And if you I would only recommend doing this if you didn't see the more clever combinatorical method. Thank you all for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to be notified of new competition on videos and also like the video. Bye everyone.